This really is a special day for FIRST. Each year we present the Founders Award. It's a clock that I made nearly 30 years ago, and it travels once a year to the next recipient. It's got little insignias on it from each of the ones that have won it in the past. It, it was won twice by a little organization called NASA. I Heard of them? I, no, you're very familiar. <laughs> Worked there for many years, and they're one of our great sponsors to this day. But you have been so visible on the internet with 50 million followers. You've been so dedicated to getting kids to see the accessibility and excitement of technology in a kind of a fun way. You seem like the perfect extension of FIRST. And as the founder, I get to find an individual, a company, a federal agency that has done so much that we want to recognize them among the whole FIRST community. But the reason I also made it a clock is they're going to get it and hopefully put it on display prominently in their headquarters somewhere. Yep. But they're going to watch time move along very quickly. I really do think we are sort of kindred spirits. And, you know, my goal is to reach as many brains as possible to get them stoked about science and engineering and education. And, you know, I've had nephews who they've all gone through school. They've taken the classes. But I swear where they learn the most is like doing first, you know, Lego League including like through high school. And I was just so impressed by that, that I started researching you guys to figure out like, how do I put the thumb on the scale here, right? Like you know, on the channel, we could tap a microphone and reach, I think it's like 400 million eyeballs a month, right? Well, technically 800 million because everyone has two <laughs> eyeballs. And so it's like kind of combining powers here to let more people know about first and real learning in the trenches that can occur like because that's where the learning happens it's in the trenches and you guys do that i think better than anyone first was all about giving kids real access to real engineering issues real engineering resources and let them build something that solves a problem and when we saw how fantastically well you're doing that at crunch labs this is a perfect marriage well and as part of this we're kind of announcing we are raising money when people buy Crunch Labs box, they can donate a box. We're going out to people. Crunch Labs themselves is raising money. And then through FIRST, we're actually getting those into the hands of the kids who need them the most. It could kind of be that first step of just like getting really stoked about, I actually can build something. I have this confidence, right? And then I think that dovetails so nicely into like a full on robotics program with FIRST. You should know that at FIRST from day one, we encourage all of our sponsors and all of the community to particularly go after the kids that might otherwise never have the opportunity to see how accessible, how much fun they can have with technology. We share a vision and we should be a continuation from where they start with you and the 800 million eyeballs a month and end up as part of the greater uh, FIRST community. I love it. All right, well, my goal then is to win that award again, 10 years down the road. I'm gonna earn it, all right? If within 10 years, we are in more than 90% of the schools in the United States, I will personally deliver that clock back to you. You heard it here, folks, you heard it here. <laughs>